Tell me swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith of military justice. Only on Fox 59 tonight, that is Judah Officer taking the oath today, becoming Indiana's first African American accepted into the U.S. Space Force. The Space Force, as you know, is the newest branch of the military, started under former President Donald Trump in December of 2019. Fox 59's Courtney Crown shares this exclusive story tonight about the pride he and his family feel. Hi, right, Judah Aaron Officer. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. Judah officers prepared to make this promise for what feels like his whole life. Constitution of the United States. I've been thinking about it since I was a little kid. He was born and raised on Indy's East Side and went to Cathedral High School where he played football. Today, he took his oath as the newest trainee in the United States Space Force, and he's making history. I feel like being the first African American applicant in Indianapolis and Indiana perhaps is like really, really big. That's right. Officer is the first African American applicant from Indiana to be accepted into the USSF, the newest branch of our military. Its primary mission is to secure and protect space. We rely on space every day. Think of satellites that power GPS technology, web browsing, phone calls, and even the ability to use credit cards at the gas pump. Things as small as the satellites in the air and being able to have space operators that track those as well as be able to use those satellites to maintain communication anywhere in the world. The Space Force requires above average scores on the multi aptitude test for each career in the branch. Master Sergeant Joseph Saucier says Judah displays many qualities which will make him a great guardian. The positive attitude and willingness to to serve. Mom and Dad greatly appreciate y'all. Or to fall at your feet is such a God thing. It was just so just appreciative and proud that he was chosen for this opportunity. The sky is not the limit for future guardians like Judah, and his parents are happy to hug him goodbye. To see the pride in his face, to see the length in his gait, it just makes me very proud as a father. This is a dream coming true. So help me God. So help me God. Look. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Congratulations, Judah. Thank you for proudly serving our country. Judah signed his contract today. He shipped off to San Antonio. He'll spend the next seven and a half weeks in basic training before heading to Biloxi, Mississippi to train further.